The next guest on Smarter San Diego TV is the all-time champion of the real estate debate. Please welcome back Elizabeth Story and her special guest, Elaine Hine. All right, the champ is here. She's in the house. Good What's up, champ? It. How you doing? I'm <laughs> doing well. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. It's a beautiful day in San Diego, as it always is. It's great to have you here. Now you have a special guest with you today. Elaine Hine is here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you, Elaine. Um, tell me why you wanted to bring Elaine on today. You know, I really hit it off with Elaine from the beginning. She's a very p compassionate person, but she's also extremely professional. And in what Elaine does, which is specialize in family law, it's important to have someone who is both tactful and professional and also compassionate. Yeah. And so when we talk about, you know, uh, divorce situations, uh, what are we going to do with the house? You know, that's a really sensitive area. But we have both experts here right now to sort of dive into that and figure out, all right, well, what do we do? From a real estate perspective, you know, I've helped clients both on the buying and the selling side when they're going through divorce, and it's really nobody's business, and it's not anything that needs to be advertised in, in print or, or when you're touring the home. It doesn't need to be uh, every buyer who comes through your house doesn't need to know that you're getting a divorce. So when you're working with an agent, you want to make sure that it's someone like myself who is extremely interested in protecting your privacy, but there's also ways to sell the house that makes it far less obvious, and there's ways to sell it that make it obvious. And that's one thing that I really take a lot of pride in is I go through the home with a fine-tooth comb, and I say, you know, look, here's some things that we need to change. I work with a stager to say, here's some things that we need to change to make this house still look like there's love inside mm -hmm. from all angles. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> they sell better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's your job in that situation. Um, Elaine, it can get hairy sometimes it in a can. divorce situation, especially with property involved. What kind of advice do you have for us? Well, my first piece of advice would be to consult an attorney before you file for divorce so you know what you're getting into and you know what your rights and your obligations are going to be when entering into this divorce situation. There's all sorts of different types of situations people find themselves in. They have a house before they got married and then they transferred it to joint title. They put separate property down. It's important to consult an attorney before you go through that process and I can certainly help you figure out what your rights and obligations are, what you'll be paying, whether it's better to sell the house, whether it's better to buy the other person out. And I can always refer you to a great real estate agent and if in fact you have found that it's necessary to sell that house. And I, Elizabeth's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it can it can be clean a lot of times to just sell the home and kind of move away. But a lot of times people don't want to do that, right? Someone wants to, to keep it for whatever sentimental reasons or this is where the kids have grown up. We don't want to change that for them or whatever it may be. And that's a whole other set of considerations you have to think about because, as you know, Elizabeth, with your background in real estate and, and lending, you know, just saying, all right, it's your house now, that doesn't take anybody's name off of the paperwork. Correct. <laughs> now you have to refinance the house in that person's name alone who's going to actually keep the house. And that person has to buy the other person out. Can that be done? I don't know. You have to look at each situation and find out if that's going to be the best thing to do in that situation. Kids stay in the house. You want to keep the house, school district. Those are all considerations. Elizabeth, how you know how important is is the agent in this circumstance? Because um, it seems to me like there are enough variables already kind of going on with the people involved in that circumstance. Um, how do you help them uh, in a ways that other agents might not be able to? So you need someone again who can listen and be compassionate, but also can hear both sides and then help both sides communicate properly because it's not really, it's not about fighting, it's about both people walking away with the best possible outcome. So, you know, the hope and expectation is, is there will be equity if you have to sell and that both sides can maximize their equity. So again, it's about working together because if one side loses money, so does the other. So we want both sides to be profitable and again, open, honest, consistent communication, but also keeping a level head and having a level playing field so that both sides really feel like they're getting treated fairly. You know, you said something earlier about privacy that really stuck out to me because I've seen, and I mean just on the open MLS, mm -hmm. where it says in the notes, seller's going through a divorce or something like that. It's like broadcast to everyone right. who's looking at the homes for sale, which includes all the neighbors and anyone who wants to go on a website and find the home that's for sale. That to me is a little uncomfortable. I mean, I've seen that and I'm just going, I can't imagine that the sellers really wanted that. Not only is it rude, but it also affects the value. 
I mean, if you're going to go buy a house and you think they're selling it because they're moving up, or you're going to buy a house and you know that they're getting a divorce, you might not offer as much if they're going through a divorce because you might think, oh, there's trouble in the waters. So again, it, hiring an agent who is professional and understands that it's not about your divorce, but again, it's maximizing the sale, getting it over with as quickly as possible, and getting you out of the situation that you're trying to walk away from as amicably as possible. Yes, that's a key word, right, Elaine? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and bringing those two differing minds into one unison when you're trying to decide on a sales price, for instance, exactly. or what repairs need to be made prior to sale, or how to stage it or who's going to mow the lawn. <laughs> exactly. Or how are you going to stage it? Are you going to stage it as a man cave or as, you know, Florence, right. circa 1400s? Exactly. Uh, you know, they might have differing opinions there. And then there's disputes that have, arise once there's an offer on the house. One party wants to accept and the other doesn't. I'm sure Elizabeth can help the parties try and reach an agreement on, provide good advice as to whether to accept that offer. What else should we know, uh, Elaine, from a law perspective as far as uh, people who might be considering going through or even going through something like this right now, what are some other things they might be able to think about? Well, you know, like I talked about before, do you have some separate property? Did you make a separate property down payment? Am I going to get that separate property back? Am I going to get it back with appreciation? Is there a prenuptial agreement that was in place that would provide me with the ability to get that appreciation back? Those are all sorts of questions people need advice on before they decide what to do with the house and whether to sell it. If you can't answer those questions, then you have questions yet to ask. Right. Because you need to be able to answer those questions. Right. It's fantastic stuff. Uh, Elizabeth, you want to take us home? I do. There are a lot of complicated questions to answer, but we want you to know that we're here to help. Both Elaine and myself are available for free, no obligation consultations to help you answer some of the questions about property, value of your home, and whether or not it's the right choice for you to sell, refinance, or what your options are. So please don't hesitate to contact either one of us for a free, no obligation consultation. Great stuff, ladies. Really appreciate you being in here today. Elizabeth, great job bringing in Elaine Lane. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. Really appreciate your time. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else commercial free.